Well, historically, a drop of rain at Monaco has tended to turn the race from the processional to the epic. Uncertain conditions like these have bred some of the classic stories of Monaco tradition. Conditions like these make it a lottery. Literally, anybody can win. The lights are on, now they go off. Slight hesitation from the Ferrari on the right of Kimi Raikkonen. Hamilton has taken advantage and has steamed up the inside and that is uh, a great move indeed for Lewis Hamilton jumping past uh, Raikkonen who just hesitated fractionally when the lights went out. Massa leads it though from Hamilton and it's Raikkonen. Kubica, Alonso's got a good start and Rosberg up well. Looks like everybody has safely got through Sandivok and there goes Heike Kovalainen in the McLaren at the back of the field as we go through the Casino Square for the first time in this 78 lap race the Honda then of uh, Button just uh, wow just got away with that that's the second part of the swimming pool and uh, was there further contact through the exit then yeah it must have been on the exit of the swimming pool they got very close to each other the Honda mechanics go to work we're watching Glock who spun in the final corner there's a lot of water coming down now. They've got to be starting to think about full wet soon, although we know these intermediates do... Oh, oh Lewis has hit the barriers. Sorry to mind drop you, Martin, but Lewis Hamilton... And right rear he looked puncture. out of shape and he's got a right rear puncture coming through the tobacco corner and Lewis Hamilton is going to lose a lot of ground because of this. And it was just the right rear that tagged the barrier, got in a bit too deep into tobacco corner. And then we can see, uh, luckily, the tyre didn't come off the rim, didn't disintegrate and therefore break his rear wing. Hamilton was able to rejoin in fifth place, so he didn't lose an awful lot of time. As Fernando Alonso, who was running just ahead of Hamilton in fourth place, has got a puncture. He's got a long way to go to make it back to the grid. And we've got a pile up here on the way into uh, the Casino Square at the top of the hill. It's one of the two Red Bulls. It's David Coulthard. Right, there's a lot of water then at the top of the hill, because then we another two or three cars pile in by the looks of it. So it's Bourdais in the Toro Rosso, the sister team to Red Bull that uh, has piled into the back of David Coulthard's car. There you, can, there you can see it, that both of them had the same moment. And look, the back end just stepped out. That's because these uh, wet tyres can no longer uh, c clear the water. The water's just a little bit too deep. And then he got a good shove up the back as Bourdais had the same accident. The safety car peels into the pit lane and we're racing again here after an incident involving David Coulthard and Sebastian Bordet, both uh, cars eliminated from this race. Kimi Raikkonen, the world champion, has been given a drive-through penalty for not having his tyres fully fitted at the three-minute signal. What's this incident now? Alonso forcing his way back past Mark Webber. That's a battle for sixth place here. The man to watch, definitely Alonso, on the extreme wet tyre. There he is, in sixth place. 18 seconds behind the race leader, but if he can here just we go. dispatch Heidfeld, here we go, up the inside. Yeah, that oh. was always going to happen, wasn't it? Yeah, That's another £10,000 front wing gone. Go on. Uh, well, he, he poked his nose, and I think he thought, as we've got a traffic jam going on behind, which Heike Kovalainen's caught up in, and there, Kovalainen just tagging the front wing of, uh, I think it was possibly uh, Nakajima, I don't know. And he just sort of half-heartedly pokes his nose up the inside, hoping that Heidfeld might have seen it. And uh, it's full lock to get through there at the best of times, let alone in these conditions. Heidfeld had no chance of seeing that one coming. And uh, a very clumsy moment there. These are the finest drivers in the world, make no mistake about it. But in these conditions, these cars just feel hopelessly inadequate. They're not designed to be going around hairpins at 20 miles an hour. They're rubbish at that sort of thing. And, uh, and that's why they're all... Oh, and Massa's he's gone in too deep. He can, he can survive that one, but he's got to get on with it. And Kubica will be appearing any time soon, but not soon enough. Yes, he, he is. Was. He's through. Robert Kubica is up into the lead. Massa has made a mistake at Sandevok. And Robert Kubica in the BMW lead. Mark Webber runs up the inside of the uh, BMW of Heidfeld. That's a power pass for position. So Webber up into fifth place then. Heidfeld really, really struggling on the tyres. And guess who's going through there? It's Adrian Sutil up into sixth place. Kubica comes in, puts another set of the shallow groove wet tyres, the intermediate tyre, and goes back out again. Is that a damaged front wing? It is indeed. The front wing is just hanging and like a pendulum, isn't it? Yes, it is. Raikkonen went deep then, deep into that runoff area. So 
intermediates then for Felipe Massa. And uh, out of the pit, he'll go. They had 28 seconds over Kubica, who's already stopped. So where will Kubica be in relation to Massa is another important question. There is behind him. And let's see just how far Hamilton can go on that fuel load. I think he's certainly at the point now. Whoa, as uh, the Toyota spins round and lands in the barrier right in front of the marshal. What a dr dramatic shot that was. Timo Glock. Probably looking in his mirrors to see what was going on with the Honda behind. And a little pirouette. Broken uh, the end fences off the wing and various other aero devices underneath there so the car will be a handful but he should be able to stay in the race the anti-stall will have kicked in into the pits comes robert kubitzer from third place and fernando alonso on the dry tire has just set the fastest lap of the race a 124.7 proof positive that this is the moment to move to the dry tire dry tires we're hearing from ted down in the pit and uh, now is a challenge lewis the race is there for you to take it will be a brilliant victory you've just got to keep these things up to temperature as you find out what's underneath you and that's uh, jensen button getting tagged by heike cover line in there and uh, here it goes and uh, he did indeed well spotted james he did give him a whack that's a and, karting move yeah here comes Kubica, Massa is away, his tyres are cooling down already and I have to say I think the BMW could have a reasonable run at him up the hill. Here it comes, Massa struggling to get up to speed, Kubica's going to do it, he's done it. Yep, Massa stayed out too long, it's cost him. Oh, big shunt! So Williams, that'll be safety car, that'll change it around a bit. What's he done? Why has that happened? He's just run wide. Oh, and then of course he got on the greasy stuff. Car flies through the air. That's a big impact because he's going to have a second one now. Raikkonen will be slightly circumspect. He won't be taking any banzais, I wouldn't have thought. But he does need to pass Sutil to protect his lead in the World Championship if he can. And Sutil's got nothing to lose. Oh, Raikkonen's hit him. Raikkonen's braked, locked his brakes, gone straight into the back. And that's exactly what we said he didn't need to do. And he's just, he's got out of shape. He's braked on very, very early. And uh, actually, you, I think, trying to be cautious, just got on a damp patch at the top. He'll brake not fully up to temperature. Sometimes sport can be so very cruel. How badly do they need those points, that money, that glory? He's taken advantage of an early mistake. And the boyhood dream comes true for Lewis Hamilton. He pulls over to his team on the pit wall and Lewis Hamilton wins the Monaco Grand Prix. He walks in the shadow of Ayrton Senna 15 years after the Brazilian maestro last won this race. It's Lewis's sixth career victory, his second of the season, and it gives him the lead in the World Championship. Fantastic job, as always. And uh, I apologise for hitting the barrier. But I made up for it, so let's go and party tonight, all right? The very special champagne moment for Lewis Hamilton to crown an absolutely awesome weekend's work. Lewis Hamilton is a Monaco winner.